Have you ever felt like you have what it takes to progress to the next level? You do the extra individual work on the pitch, strengthen your body in the gym, and you perform in training and in games, but nothing ever seems to happen. This is the exact situation I was in for several years until the end of 2021, when I decided to create as good a highlight video as I possibly could. After carefully picking the clips and editing them together, I felt like I had a finished product. Three months later, I had signed my first professional contract. And today, I will show you how to create your own professional looking highlight video in five easy steps. Hi guys, if you haven't been here before, my name is Oskar Jonsson. I'm a professional footballer who currently plays for Vennersborgs IF in Sweden. So today I'm going to talk you through five steps on how you can create a professional looking highlight video all by yourself. So without further ado, let's get into step number one. So step number one is really all about just acquiring as much footage as you possibly can. This may seem like a no-brainer, um, but there's a few things that you could think of. So obviously we all live under different circumstances, maybe you got a camera, maybe you don't. Uh, but obviously if you want to create a highlight video, you need some form of camera. You don't need to have a, a high quality camera, you can just use a phone. You never know when you might have the game of your life. And those few moments of that game where you do something brilliant, if you include that in your highlight video, your chances of, of success and being noticed increases drastically. Obviously, you can't record the games by yourself, so ask a parent, ask a friend, ask whoever, whoever is whoever possible may, who can record your games. So what I did, for example, in 2021 was that we had this VO camera that automatically records our games through AI but our coaches didn't really bring it for all the games. I don't know if they uh, didn't think it benefited us uh, as much as I thought it did. So what I did was before every game, before we left and before every home game, I was the one who picked up the video camera, I put it on the bus, I made sure we brought it to the game if we played away. I brought the camera out, I set it up, I started recording on the video app on my phone. So I was basically the cameraman, even though I didn't record the game. But I, I did what I could to get the footage that I needed, and there was a lot of footage that I included later on in my highlight video. So it's hugely important that you try to get as much footage as possible, because you never know when you might have the game of your life. So be, be proactive, ask friends, ask parents, ask whoever possible. To, to film your game. So step number two is really about figuring out before you start editing, what do I want to show uh, of myself uh, as a player? What style do I have? How do I play as a player? I can take myself an ex as an example. I'm a winger. I'm um, pretty quick. Uh, I use my speed a lot. Uh, I like to dribble. I like to take people on 1v1. I like to cross the ball, take shots. So that is really what I want to show uh, as a player. And it, it may be obvious, but what is there's always a risk when you start editing that you want to put everything great in there. And uh, the video may look a bit all over the place instead. So you really want to leave the viewer with a certain feeling and impression of you as a player. And you do that by determining a style uh, that you want to put in the video before you start editing. So maybe you're a defender and you're really good at tackling and uh, distribution uh, and passing. So you may show that a lot. You may show a lot of tackles, you win the ball and then you distribute the ball and then you may add, <clears throat> then you may add another clip where you do the same and then again. So that, that may leave an impression that yeah, this player is really good at winning the ball back and then distributing it quickly to the midfielders or the strikers or whoever, whoever is in front. Figure out what kind of style you want to show and who you are as a player, really. And that's what it's all about. Because uh, we want to leave the viewer with a certain feeling and impression of uh, ourselves as players. All right, guys, it's now time to get into the editing phase. What we want to do now is 
whatever program you use to edit your video. It could be on, I don't know, Movie Maker. I used to do them back in the day. It can be iMovie. Uh, on your phone, on your laptop, really wherever you edit, it doesn't really matter because all the, all the basic principles remains the same. But I'm gonna do it in Adobe Premiere Pro uh, where I'm gonna show you exactly what I do basically. So okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to go into the file here. Um, so we need to import our footage into the editing software. So how do we do that? Well, the easiest way is really to drag the footage in wherever it is uh, you need to import your footage into into the software so i have i will have take this game from last season as an example i will import the file okay now i've imported it we can see it down here okay so now when we got our footage in the editing software what we want to do is we want to start trimming down uh, all of our individual actions that we want to include in the in the highlight video so what i'm going to do now I'm not gonna overcomplicate this anything. There's a lot to do in this program, but I'm just gonna show you the easy stuff. So I'm gonna drag this in to the to create a sequence here in my timeline. You can see we have the whole game here. It's uh, yeah, it's almost two hours in total. So I will show you just the first few clips where I cut them down, uh, so you get the basic idea behind it, and then I might do a little time lapse. But what we want to do now is we want to be in this little window. Uh, if we hit C on our keyboard, we will get the cut tool, and if we hit V, we will get back to our pointer. So we want to scroll along here until okay, the game starts around there. You can see me, I'm down here now. So I'm gonna hit C, and then I'm gonna cut, and then back to V. Select this little clip down here. I'm gonna hit backspace to delete that because I don't want to include anything of that So now let's say I want to include the kickoff here for whatever reason I just want to show this for demonstration purposes. I um, might scroll along and There is the kickoff kind of There's the kickoff And then again back to C on the keyboard to select the cut tool and then cut it there and then back to V. So now you can see that we cut these two in half. So I got this clip here. What I can show you then, I know a play I didn't I didn't assist in this game. But I can show you one I included in my highlight video, which I made for 2022. Okay, so around here. So now I want to include a whole play. So this is kind of important. What do we want to show now when we cut the, the games down? We don't need to cut them exactly how we want them to be. It, it will save us time later on, but it's more important to get like a rough cut of what I want to include. I want to include more of the play here in the rough cut uh, than I do later on. We, then I can trim it down a bit later. So about from here, I know the play starts and then we go all the way again here you can see i win the ball and then i hit the assist there you can see him running away there so include maybe that and then i delete this and i delete this now okay so now we got our play i'm gonna try put this at the start Sorry if this is a bit quick, but I think you get the basic principle. Otherwise, just ask me in the comments if there's anything you missed. Okay, so now we got the kickoff, and we got this play here. And then you do this for all of your footage, basically. It's not harder than that, it's not rocket science. You just cut out the individual actions. So start off there, and then we'll get back to the next step. So if you found this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing. It'll help me out a lot on this channel. All right, so now we got our footage. We have decided to style for our video and we have cut down our footage to get all of our individual actions into the editing software. Now, how do we get all of these together? Well, the first step is really, I should suggest creating kind of an intro for yourself where you show your stats, you show your name, your date of birth, uh, position I'm gonna show you how I did so this is really the intro what I included in my little uh, intro graphic so you can see my name here up top then I added position I added right winger left winger striker so multiple positions and then date of birth height weight nationality I added my team with a little logo you don't have to do all of this just keep it simple so you can create something like this uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how I created this, 
uh, I can show you quickly what you could do. Uh, as you can see down here, there's a couple of red uh, blocks and that's because the footage here is gone. I don't have that anymore. Uh, but the intro, um, the intro graphic you can see up here is still here. So this is what the intro graphic looks like. And then I have it as an overlay on the, I will show you how to create this, but I will show you on this footage file. It doesn't really matter. You can have a picture or you can have uh, some footage if you do this in Premiere Pro. So what I do first is I click here on the rectangle tool and then I create a rectangle like this, create it whatever size you want. Uh, then I go into shape here on the left. I scroll down, I will click fill and I will change that to black. Then I will go down again, scroll down here, in the effect control window, I will put drag down the opacity until I feel like it's a good opacity. So like they're in 90%. So we have some transparency. And then I want to have around corners. This is just uh, down to taste. So I'll go into the essential graphics panel here on the right, click here. I will maybe add 20 as a value and then you could see if you go back to selection tool click away you can see that we have some round corners just down to your own taste really doesn't really matter so this is it and then I will go here to the text tool then I will just type in the window so I'll add my name here uh, and make it the appropriate size to fit in the window and then add uh, add in some other stuff like I did before. So like position uh, and then you can just play around with this. Maybe you want to add something else that you can come up with, but like add your position, add your uh, like date of birth. I feel it's really important for them to know. And then when you play back, it will look something like this. So this is just a basic uh, graphic. Uh, you need something like that, some kind of intro, so try to make that. So now we created an intro, and then my next suggestion would be to get a music track for your video. The music should be there to carry your video forward and enhance your video. It shouldn't be too distracting and take away from your play, which is why uh, people watch the video. If I would give you some recommendation of where to get your music, I would suggest you could go, I use Epidemic Sound, uh, it's a paid uh, service, uh, but you get unlimited music. I think you can sign up for a free trial, so if you create your video and upload it during that trial, I don't think you have to pay anything and the video will stay up and you won't get any copyright strikes. You can use Artlist as well as another good music platform, I used that one before, or you could just download whatever track from wherever you want, it's up to you. And now we're really getting into the clips and how we want to put them put them together. Uh, so what I did now uh, is not here anymore, but if you have seen the highlight video, you know that I put my first professional goal uh, as a first play. It was across from the sideline uh, all the way uh, into the top corner uh, of the goal. So I thought it was a really good play. It hooked the viewer, catch your eye. So I added that first. It was supposed to be here, down here. And then I have my assist against guys as the second play, another strong play. And then I added in uh, another angle uh, of, of the same play. Uh, if you have more angles, that's also a great thing you can use to enhance a play. And then I added uh, a dribbling play. You can see here against uh, if Kamal away where I get the ball here. I turn him, uh, I sprint down the line, and then I cut it back, go inside instead. And then I try to find Angel down with a pass. The idea with these three first plays is that they should be your strongest ones because the idea is we want to hook the viewer first of all and the other thing is that we want to establish the style as we spoke about in step two so I added a goal because I want to make sure people see I'm a goal scoring thread. I added an assist you see that I can create stuff as well and then I added some dribbling uh, and show out to show off my speed my 1v1 ability so people got a pretty good grasp already of what uh, the highlight video will show them and then the last thing really that you need to know is how do you create a graphic uh, to show where we are on the pitch so for instance in this play you can see there's a circle around me to show okay here I am and then the rest of the play just continues 
So how do we create this kind of graphic that you see here? This is called keyframing. So this is a bit more advanced, uh, the keyframing. Uh, what you also could do, which I will show you first, is do a freeze frame, which is kind of easier depending on what software you use. But I will show you both ways so you can skip and watch uh, with whichever one you want. So we start off with the freeze frame. So I'm going to delete this. Uh, and then I'm going to do like this. So here we have the play and there I get into the frame. You can see me quite clearly there. So I'm going to cut it as we did in the cutting phase with C. Cut that. And then I'm just going to move everything in behind here. Uh, like that go back to the play I'm gonna move that to the side and then for this last frame I'm gonna click here to export a frame and then we'll just let's call this one then I'm gonna drag this in so what we've done now is basically we basically took a screenshot so if I play this you can see a place but this is just a still picture so we create a kind of a screenshot so we got that we want to drag that down so that isn't too long you can see we're 54 seconds maybe we want like one one and a half seconds uh, of, of the play stopping and then I go into here I hold that in and then I click the ellipse tool I drag a circle around me I go into here on the left effect controls I go into shape I uncheck the fill box I click up the stroke and then I pull that up just a tiny bit I used to like have it at five to seven, let's do seven. And then what I do is I just change the position of this. So now what we will have, you can see down here. Sorry. So now what we will have is something like this. So the play will stop there you can see where I am and the play continues so that basically is what you do when you do a freeze frame you can do the same on your, let's say you're editing on your phone just take a screenshot of that very moment before you're about to receive the balls and then you just draw a little circle around you so people can see that it's you and then you just let the play continue so it's not that difficult now I'll show you the keyframing thing so we'll just undo everything we just did so if I'm going to add in a keyframe, I will just do is not that hard. So from here, I will do the same. I will select the ellipse tool. I will drag that around me. And then we the, you have to have this graphic selected. And what I will do now is I will go into this shape. I will scroll down and then I will hit the animation slash keyframing uh, icon here uh, which allows me to move this across time it's kind of hard to explain I'm not really good at explaining that when I'm kind of not in the middle of the circle anymore I will adjust here on the left so you can see I will do this and then I will just keep doing this so that I'm centrally placed in the circle all the time You don't have to do this like forever, just so people get an idea of where you are. I like to do it for a second or two. Just do it quickly now. Okay, so something like that, and then we just cut and delete the rest of that uh, little circle. So when we play back, you can see the circles follow me. So that's keyframing, and the first thing we did was freeze framing. You decide what you want to do, one is a bit more advanced. Uh, and hard to do if you don't have the software. If you have any questions about this, uh, adding a graphic to yourself, uh, just add them down in the comments. I will try to answer everything uh, as well as possible. And this is really all you need uh, to do uh, to create your highlight video. You need to have an intro. You need to have kind of, you don't have to have it, but it's nice to have a music track to carry your video forward, especially if there's no commentary on the video, it will just be silence or just people along the sidelines and a graphic to show where you are on the pitch. If you do those three, 
you know, you will have a highlight video. It's as easy as that. And then obviously there are more things you could you could think of. You can add it to the beat. So maybe the ball hits the net where the beat drops, or you can do speed ramping as I did in, in, in this particular clip, uh, where you slow it down and then you speed it up again to enhance uh, certain things in the video. You can add, I'm not a huge fan of it, but you can add different effects. I, the only effect I really use is like a dip to white, so it like it's a white flash, uh, like a transition type of thing. Uh, you can also zoom into clips uh, if you want to enhance something even more. But the most important thing is those three that I mentioned before. Create an intro, have a music track that carries your video forward, have some kind of graphic that shows where you are on the pitch. And also a suggestion is don't make the video too long. You don't want to be dragging it out for the sake of it. Keep it around three to six minutes. And that's really it for step number four. Now, the most important thing is what I'm going to mention in step number five. So step number five, the last step, is really the most important step of all. Maybe the hardest, I don't know. It's about getting yourself and getting your video out there. Because you now you have your highlight video and you want it to do the work for you. It won't do you any good if it just sits on your computer or on your phone. Upload it to your social media, maybe on Instagram, maybe you can do it on TikTok, YouTube, whatever social media you use, you like to use, and then share it with friends, share it with family. And the best thing that I would recommend is that you start sending it out to, to coaches, teams, organizations, anyone that might have an interest in you as a player, send that video out to them and eventually you might get an answer and a positive answer at that. So if you feel lost or if you need a bit of inspiration, you can go watch the exact highlight video that I created back in 2021 um, that made me go pro in 2022. So you can see what kind of video uh, and what kind of style I did back then. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, uh, like the video, comment with all your questions, I will answer all of them. But other than that, I'll just see you in the next one, guys. Take care and bye.